Hi everyone, my name is Chanel Temple. Welcome back to my channel. For this video, I did a challenge that was rather difficult, might not seem difficult to a lot of people, but I ate completely vegan for a full week. This was something that I had a few people in my office challenge me to see if I could do it. I also wanted to do it in honor of World Vegan Month, which was last month in November. And I think too, being that Hourglass is going to be fully vegan company by 2020, I thought why not give it a shot. So I hope you guys enjoy and can see my week of eating delicious vegan food. So today is day one of my full week of eating vegan. I've had black coffee so far. I'm gonna head to Venice and head to work, but I'll probably stop at Erwan and grab some type of breakfast. I always have eggs every morning, so this should be interesting. I will take you with me. So Erwan is a market here in LA. It's so delicious, everything's amazing. It's like all organic and they try to be healthy with everything. And I normally get a protein skillet, if I can open this, that's like eggs and spinach. This is their like vegan version of that. Pretty blessed that I can just walk into a market and they have like the exact thing I want, but vegan. So I'm very aware of how lucky we are in here in LA. Hello! You're oh, so beautiful. She is joining me on this vegan well, lunch today. Terrible. I yeah. know the lighting is. I mean, I'm not vegan, but, but we're gonna eat vegan yeah. today. I'm yeah. not vegan either. I've been very vegan since I've been in LA because I went to this other place all day. And I really like it though. Everything's yeah. vegan here. All right, we'll report back. A vegan Reuben, and then we have a carbonara. All right guys, so I didn't prepare very well today. After I swim, I usually would get like a sandwich or something. So I went to Trader Joe's, got this spicy lentil wrap, which I've actually had before. I love this and it's vegan. So day one is pretty much over. All right, so it's day two of eating vegan and I'm a creature of habit. So I got the exact same thing for breakfast. This delicious. Skillet. I'm probably gonna be ordering this all the time now because it's so delicious. Hi, Bean. With my favorite at our favorite, getting Impossible Burgers. Gonna try this. Yes, we are. We're trying it out. Just out here on Abbott Kinney looking cute. Yo. Okay, I got mine with vegan cheddar. Got some rosemary potatoes. She rosemary. She rosemary. All right, so I've been doing the vegan week. I'm probably on day three, yeah, day three now. I've been loving the food. Obviously, I haven't been cooking too much myself. Everything I've had has been absolutely delicious. Like, honestly, most of it I can't even tell the differences, but I've been just having like some of the worst stomach issues and feeling like super bloated and kind of uncomfortable. So I did a bit of research to kind of understand why my body is like, feeling so funky and I guess because I am eating so much more fiber than I normally would if I was just on my non-vegan diet that it can sometimes cause a little bit of stomach situations so apparently I just need to push through it try to drink a lot more fluids and hopefully it will pass but yeah I'm excited today I'm gonna be eating at like one of my all-time favorite vegan restaurants that I go to all the time called sage so I'm not feeling that well this morning so I'm probably gonna skip on breakfast but hopefully feeling like a new woman by lunch the cutest little entryway for one of my favorite vegan restaurants this is Sage, and I recruited the one and only to join me. So freaking good. Are you ready, Chanel? <sighs> My mouth's like salivating. And their ranch is so good, you don't even know. But it's not real dairy. Oh, oh it's so good. We're gonna need some more ranch. All right, a little. Crispy mac and cheese. I don't really know what it's made out of. I didn't really <laughs> look into that. It looks interesting. It looks like a pie. Oh. Okay. 
What do you think? It's interesting. I don't know how I feel about the crumble on the top. The actual like inside's pretty delish. This great, a little bit. No, it's kind of strange. I'm not gonna lie, it's tasty. Oh yeah? yeah. That's not the most convincing. <laughs> So I have obviously an addiction to the buffalo cauliflower. We got a taco salad. Yeah. Oh, it was bomb. And the mac and cheese wasn't exactly for us. So we're gonna try chili cheese fries instead. All right, let's see. Is it sweet potato fries? No. Oh, good. Yeah. It's actually really yummy. It's like homemade chili. Day four, I'm having a vegan burrito. Essentially, I could just eat at Erwan for the rest of my life and be fine. All right, this is what $37 of vegan food from Trader Joe's looks like. I'm finally going to actually cook some vegan recipes. I've been eating out so much this week and it just kind of happened to work that way with people I was meeting. But today I'm gonna be making a tofu sorizo scramble. I actually eat this stuff all the time. I prefer it over regular chorizo. Usually have it with eggs. So I got a firm tofu to kind of like mimic that texture. Oh, black beans going. High protein, delicious breakfast coming on. Skin is not doing good guys, but let's see. Yes, it's delicious. I can't even actually taste the tofu. It tastes like the egg scrambles I make. That's amazing. Feeling good, guys. Feeling good. All right, so this is gonna be all the ingredients I'm gonna be using to make a, I think it's like a toasted sage butternut squash creamy linguine. So to get the sauce to be super creamy, I took um, everything I cooked, put it in my Nutribullet, kind of make it like a puree, and now I just coated everything, and it says just kind of heat a couple more minutes till everything's really coated, and then I'm gonna top it with the sage. All right, so we have chile relleno, some greens. Chelsea got some tacos. This is my beautiful friend Chelsea. We are at Gracias Madre, which is actually one of my favorite restaurants, but it is vegan. So kind of ending off the week with some delicious food. All right, that was my video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was pretty much just me eating food for a week and documenting that side of it. Just got a deeper understanding and respect for people who are vegetarian or vegan. You have to be so conscious of everything that you're consuming. If you like these kind of things and like challenge type videos, let me know or comment below if you have a really delicious vegan recipe that you think I could make. It has to be simple, okay? But yeah, thanks so much for watching guys and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.